What's up, Smart Homers? My name's Aaron, and in this video, I'm gonna show you guys something that's been highly requested from you guys, and that is how I change my office scene and even my desktop background using the Elgato Stream Deck. So really quickly, let's just go over the requirements. If you're gonna follow along with me, you're gonna need a Windows PC and an Elgato Stream Deck. I'll leave a link to a couple of them in the description, but whichever Elgato Stream Deck you want, that one will work. You'll also need Home Assistant as your smart home platform, since that's how we'll be setting the scene for all the lights. And additionally, if you guys use Corsair components for your PC that have the RGB capability and work with Corsair IQ, that's gonna allow for even more amazing scene control. First, let me go over exactly how it works and then we'll get into actually doing it. The basic idea is this. The Stream Deck is used to call a scene in Home Assistant that sets all of your lights just how you want them. Then it calls a profile in IQ which sets all your IQ devices to whatever color you want them if you're using IQ devices. Finally, it tells a program called Lively Wallpaper to set the wallpaper to whatever image or video you want. Okay, so as you can probably tell, there are gonna be a few different programs that we're gonna need installed on our PC. The first one is the Stream Deck software. And if you already have an Elgato Stream Deck, you probably already have the software. To prep the software for first use in a little bit, we're actually gonna install three different plugins. One for Home Assistant integration, one for Corsair IQ integration if you're using that, and one for Windows PowerShell called Script Deck. In the Stream Deck software, you just click the settings button, click the plugins tab, click the plus in the bottom left corner, and then search for the plugins in the browser window that pops up. You'll have to create an account to download them, but once you got the plugins, we can continue. For the Home Assistant plugin, we're gonna need to create a long-lived access token so that Stream Deck can access Home Assistant. To do this, in Home Assistant, we click your profile icon in the bottom corner, click the security tab at the top of the page, and then scroll down to the refresh tokens section of the page. At the very bottom, click Create Token. Give the token a name like Stream Deck, and then click OK. Copy that token and paste it somewhere that you're not gonna lose it. The next piece of software we need is called Lively Wallpaper by Rock Danister. It's a software that allows you to set any image or video as your desktop background, and then you can adjust things like brightness, hue, saturation, speed, things like that. The software also has a built-in command line utility so you can control it via Windows PowerShell and it allows you to set your wallpaper and a ton of other things on your PC via command line. To install that, you just head to rockdanister.com lively and follow the instructions to install it on your Windows PC. The next software is optional and it's the Corsair IQ program. I'm not gonna go over how to install it, but you should have it installed if you have Corsair IQ components. Okay, so now let's get everything set up so that we can start using this. The first thing you need to do is create a scene in Home Assistant for all of the lights that you have connected to Home Assistant. You can see my scene here has my desk light strip, my Govi Y lights, and any other accent lighting that I want included. You set them all the way you want, and then you save that scene, and then you're gonna call that scene from the Stream Deck. Give that scene a name though, so you know which scene you're calling. If you're using Corsair IQ, you need to create a profile for each scene. And in each profile, you're setting the color of all the lights just the way you want that are gonna match the scenes that you made in Home Assistant. You can see here that I have a profile that corresponds to each of my office scenes that I created in Home Assistant. One thing I wanna note though about Corsair IQ that's pretty cool is that if you have Govi Y lights like I do or other Govi lights that support land control, which is most of them, you can actually add them right into Corsair IQ and they'll be treated as another Corsair IQ device. It's really cool to see brands like Govi kind of spreading out and integrating with other softwares. And it'd be really nice if they do the same thing with Home Assistant. Right now the Home Assistant Govi integration is third party and it'd be really nice if Govi would just support it. Once you have those set up, we're all ready to pull it all together in the Stream Deck software. Okay, so now in the Stream Deck software, we're gonna pick a blank button and we need to choose an action for that button that is actually gonna trigger a series of actions. One of those actions is gonna call the Home Assistant scene, one of them is gonna set the IQ profile, and one is gonna command Lively Wallpaper to change the wallpaper. We're gonna drag and drop the multi-action into the button slot of your choice, and then you'll see the blank space where we'll put our three actions. 
First, we'll pull the Profiles action from the IQ plugin. Again, this is optional and only if you have Corsair IQ. We'll set the On Press to Activate Profile, and then for the profile, we're gonna choose whatever one you wanna call that's gonna match the scene. Next, from the Home Assistant plugin, we'll drag and drop the Entity Generic action. In the Server URL box, you need to put WS colon slash slash, and then your Home Assistant IP slash API slash WebSocket. In the access token field, we need to put the long live access token that you pasted somewhere safe before and didn't forget to copy. Copy and paste that in there and then scroll down to the appearance section. This doesn't really matter, but it does need to be filled in. So you just choose scene for the domain. In the entity dropdown, you'll see all of the scenes that Stream Deck detects in Home Assistant. So choose the one they want to call that matches the Corsair IQ profile even though this field actually isn't doing anything. Now we scroll down to the keypad actions, this field's gonna do something, and under short press, choose scene for the domain again, choose activate for service, and then choose the scene from Home Assistant that you want for your entity. All right, so lastly, we need to grab the PowerShell script from the script deck plugin, and we'll paste in the string that I'm showing here. I'll leave this string available for you guys in the description, but how I built this string comes from Lively Wallpaper's documentation. I just put it all together for you, and all you have to do is change a couple things. Between the first set of quotes, you wanna put the path to the executable file for Lively Wallpaper. It'll be in the install directory and should be easy to find. Between the second set of quotes, we're gonna put the path to the wallpaper file. And again, that could be a video or an image. Now, I didn't show the installation and set up a live wallpaper, but you do wanna make sure that you set your wallpaper to repeat on both screens or just on one screen, really however you decide you wanna set up lively wallpaper. And then once you've done that, you really don't have to touch lively anymore and it's gonna do its work in the background. So once we've created that string, give the button a test and you should see your home assistant lights, IQ lights and wallpaper all change at the same time. The first time you call a wallpaper image on Lively Wallpaper, it's gonna pop up a little window. You're kind of saving that wallpaper in Lively Wallpaper. But after that, it's not gonna bother you again. Anyway, that's pretty much it. And here you can see that I've created scenes for all the different colors for my office themes. And I've created IQ profiles to match each of those. And of course I have a wallpaper for each one. These wallpapers are available for free on my Discord, so definitely check that out in the description. I even set an office theme for NFL game day and one for Spider-Man 2. When you press the button, not only does it change the wallpaper and the scene, but it also launches Spider-Man 2 on my PC, which is really cool. Anyway, I appreciate you guys watching this video. I hope you found this tutorial helpful, and if you did, please hit the like button to let me know that, and subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this in the future. In an upcoming video, I plan to do an office tour as you might be able to tell some things are different in the background, as well as a workbench tour where I show you all of my maker tools that I've been collecting. If you guys are interested in those videos or if there's anything that you would have done differently in this video, let me know in the comment section below. And as always, thanks for watching. See ya.